guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I really want to do a kind of green smoky eye look. Um, so I'm going to play with the ABH Rose Metals palette and potentially add a few of the darker greens from the Carnival XL Pro palette. Um, just kind of mix, but mainly, mainly this palette. And I believe this will be my second to last video before Christmas. So I think the next one will be like a mini December vlog. And then I'm going to do a like New Year's Eve, New Year's Day mini vlog afterwards. But um, yeah, this is the second to last video. So I really hope you enjoy. And yeah, I'm just doing eyes for today. I've got my base already done. If you've watched the project kind of £10 video, you'll know what's on the base already. Um, I've just got a bit heavier with the concealer just to give a bit more coverage. Um, but yeah, we're just onto eyes. I've already prepped and primed, so we're just gonna zoom in a little bit more, not that much more. And yeah, let's crack on with the eyes. Okay, so as I am using the Rose Metals palette, and I think first of all I'm gonna go in with the shade Noble just here. And this is gonna go on the outer portion of the lid. This is going to be where our depth is, and I, like I said, I might add some of the dark green from the other palette in there as well. I'm just using patting motions to begin with, just to kind of really get that pigment down um, and get that intensity. And I'll use more swiping motions, like fluffier brushes, to get that uh, blend and that softness. I'm going to try not to edit this down too much, as I'm just doing the eyes, I'm going to actually kind of keep it more in real time as much as I can, so you can see how long it takes me to kind of apply the product, blend it out, um, just so you get a bit more of a kind of an idea of how long things can take. Um, so I'm just going to take the brush now, no extra product, and sorry I should say this one's the Sigma Blendy brushes, I don't know that they kind of, uh, it's rubbed off so it's one of the blending brushes and I'm just going to go back and forth in the crease to start blending that shade out. Like I said no extra products it's already quite deep as enough as it is. And I'm not trying to fully blend it out just yet I'm just trying to soften it enough that I can start to go in with other shades and I'll just make that blending process that much easier. So same again with the other eye. I've been really enjoying how much more content there is around this time of year. Obviously a lot of people do like Vlogmas, some people just do like Vidmas where it's just, um, I say vlogs. Um, I've been really enjoying it, it's hard to keep up actually with all the videos because I'm quite busy at the moment as well. But it kind of makes me want to do it myself, maybe next year, not 24 days, but maybe like a 12 days of Vidmas. Um, just 12 days of makeup looks or whatever it may be. Not always festive, I want to kind of keep a balance between festive and non-festive looks because I know not everyone celebrates Christmas and not everyone enjoys this time of year so I want to make sure there's a nice balance. But let me know if that sounds like something interesting. I'm kind of reading all it on the joint channel as well. So 12 days of Vivmas, so like walks, some festive content, some vlogging, like a real mix. I think it's actually quite nice and 12 days isn't too hard to commit to I don't think um, you can kind of pre-record some of the stuff okay that's when we leave it like that I'm then going to switch it to a slightly more fluffier brush so I've got this one here this isn't too big this is fluffy but it's not too big um, so I won't get a product everywhere this is a blank canvas brush but unfortunately again the name's rubbed off um, I'm now going to go in with the shade, I think I'm going to go with the shade Ashes actually, which is just this one here. I'm going to start using that, I'm going on top of where I've just put Blended Out Noble. I'm kind of placing it half on Noble and half above to start the kind of transition and blend into the other colour. I very much want to use this to kind of soften the edges. So I might much just go back and forth. I'm not going to do a, I'm not really going to wing it, wing it out, but it's going to be a bit more subtle, a subtle wing out. And you can see by blending that noble out just enough, 
Um, it really helps them blend another colour into it and it creates like a nice seamless blend in my opinion and you don't need to go in with, I know like a lot of some people can go in with like a lot of different shades to try and get that blend so like noble then maybe a slight, just a slightly lighter one and a slightly lighter one to get the blend but I don't think you need that many shades, quite a nice soft blend and make quite a seamless transition so yeah that's probably all the shades I'm going to use kind of the transition and the blend part anyway. And this brush makes everything really quick. I want a little bit go over kind of the outer portion and blend a little bit onto the lid. Okay what I will do is pick a bit more noble up on the fluffy brush and just focus in the crease just to make sure I haven't lost too much of the depth of that shade but not enough to kind of overpower the shade ashes Something like that. Okay, what I'm going to do is take some more lashes, same brush again, and I'm going to run this along the lower lash line. This is quite a fluffy brush for doing your lower lash line, but because it's um, fluffy, it won't pick up as much product, so it's not going to be heavy, heavy under the eyes. Even though it will bring it down slightly further, it won't be super heavy, so actually I quite like it. If I want to go for like a dark colour, I do tend to use a, and that's not a grungy look, I do tend to use like a pencil brush, so I can really get it a bit closer to the actual lash line. But again, that brush just makes it so quick and easy. I probably will actually switch to a pencil brush, pick a bit of Noble out now. And I'm just going to focus right on the outer portion of the lower lash line. So I can keep it much closer to the lash line by using a pencil brush. And I do prefer that with slightly darker colours. Sorry, I thought I heard the door, so I'm knocking on the door. And we're expecting a few parcels today, and Jamie's in the bath currently, so... Um, but it's false alarm. False alarm. As I was saying, I prefer a pencil brush with dark colours... So I can really focus it closer to the lower lash line um, and not make it too dark and smoky underneath. Obviously if you want to go that grungy then use a slightly fluffier brush but pencil brush, and this is one of my favourite pencil brushes. Goodness knows how long I've had this. If you've been around for a while this is the Kiko pencil brush. Probably one of the oldest brushes in my collection I'd say. Right, now we're going to add a bit more fun to it. So I am going to go in, I think, because I really want to use the shade Nova. It's a gorgeous, like, greeny gold. Um, but I do want to add a bit of dark, brown, uh, dark green to it. So I am going to pick a bit of Cargo from this palette, which is a nice kind of shimmery green, quite deep. Um, I'm not going to go too heavy with it, though. I'm going to pick a shading brush like this. This is the Luxie 213. It's quite nice for packing on sh more shimmer shades. And it will pick up a fair amount of products. So let's tap off. And I'm going to pop this over the top of where we put Noble on the kind of lid only. So that Noble's going to help us give that depth to this, this green. And then this green is going to add a nice shimmer and the pop of colour but without it going too overboard or too colourful so I'm just going to again, I'm going to carefully pat on to get that pigment down 
this is cool. I'd love like a single pan of cargo actually. It's a really beautiful dark shimmery green. It's great if you like your kind of really smoky eyes but you're not really into colour because it's dark enough I feel like to not be too bright, too intense but you can definitely see this colour on your eyes. I think it's quite a nice, um, it's a really nice shade. Okay, I'm actually going to take the Sigma brush and pick, pick up Noble and use that to blend out cargo. I will blend out here as well. Just so that kind of blends into the crease area quite nicely. What I will do with the pencil brush is I will pick up a little bit of cargo and just pop a little bit on the lower lash line but really more on the outer portion. I bought Noble kind of almost all the way in. I'm going to focus this mainly on the outer portion. So it had a bit more depth to the eye and it's had a bit more of colour but nothing too intense. Quite nice and smoky though. So now we're going to move on to Nova. And I'm going to use my finger for this because I think sometimes with these shimmers in particular they work really nicely with the finger. So this is going to go over the inner portion of the lid. And try not to get it out there like I have. I'll fix that in a minute. This is a gorgeous greeny gold. I think this might be one of my favourite purchases from last year, apart from Lily Lolo's leak and chip leap lip and cheek tints, that's for sure. I don't know if I can tell you what is my favourite purchase from this year though. So I'm not really going to do a favourites this year because I feel like with us moving I haven't really played with too many new products I can think of. Um, so yeah, I'm doing more of an empties video at the end of the year. Okay, what I'm just going to quickly go and do is take a concealer brush and just get the majority of that off. Take the Sigma brush and just go in this inner corner help build a bit of that colour back up and then I'll take some of I'll take the fluffy brush I'm just using the excess but just to help blend that out and kind of fix that mess up and again on the Kiko brush I'm going to take a bit of Nova and pop this in the corner to kind of match the upper lid. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some haze now and I flat brush just like this and I'm going to pop this in the inner corner. Usually I use like a shade like Heavenly uh, from this palette in the inner corner but I wanted something that was a bit more intense to kind of match the level of the eyes as it is, and Heavenly is quite a soft shimmer. So we've got something nice like this, quite smoky, quite bold. Um, I'm not going to make it more dramatic by putting black eyeliner in the water. I think I want to leave it there. 
Um, and instead, I'm just going to load up my lashes. Mm. Instead, I'm going to load up my lashes with the Kiko Extra Sculpt Mascara on the upper and lower lashes. If you're clumsy like me and get mascara on yourself, don't worry, leave that to dry. Do your lips and then come back and just get like a, a brush or even just your nail, pop it off and it actually comes off much easier. Okay, so the final bit is lips. So I'm going to use the lip liner that I'm using in my Project 10 palette at the moment, which has disappeared. And that is the Inner Mascara Lip Liner in the shade Woo. I'm going to outline the lips. Fill them in. Now I'm to box the gloss. Now um, I unexpectedly got a makeup advent calendar this year. My mum and dad were in MS. My mum was downstairs buying clothes for my nan, and my dad was upstairs buying jumpers for himself. And the MS advent calendar, if you it's something ridiculous like a hundred plus pounds by itself. But if you spend a certain amount, you get the advent calendar free, and they both happen to spend the right amount, um, not to get the advent calendar free, but to get it re significantly reduced. So my mum was obviously, like I said, buying stuff for my nan, and she was like, yep, yeah, great, I'll take one actually. Um, she loved it last year, and my dad had the same idea to treat my mum to one. Um, they came out of the shop and they had two. Um, so my mum very kindly let me have one of them. Now, it's half of it, unfortunately, well, so far, what I've received, it's like the 15th today, but half of it has been non-cruelty-free products, but the other half has been. And one of the products that has been cruelty-free, which I've actually really loved since I've got it, is the Pixie by Petra Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Sheer Rose. And this is a stunning lip gloss. It's got a bit of um, a uh, mintiness to it. I don't think it's plumping. Um... It doesn't have that tingle, and I don't think I notice a difference, but it's got like a minty flavour, which makes me think it would be plumping. But it's more um, the consistency, which is beautiful, but also the colour's really nice. Like I said, sheer rose. It's a very beautiful, rosy, neutral shade. I know I've got a lip liner on today and covered in, but by itself, this is super pretty. Um... And I will admit, even though I'm supposed to be using my Lily Lola Whisper, Whisper Lip Gloss, um, this has been creeping in every so often on my daily basis. And it's so nice, really glossy, feels really comfortable on the lips and a really beautiful natural colour. So yeah, so that is one of the things I have been lucky that has been cruelty free out of the calendar so far. Um, but I'm very impressed with the sizes. You get some miniature and some full size stuff in the in the calendar, which is really impressive. Okay, now let's just take my concealer brush. I'm just going to knock off that mascara. Okay, and that is this look complete. So yeah, I really want to do like a green smoky eye look. It's quite deep, uh, I wouldn't say it's grungy, it's quite a clean, smoky eye. 
Um, but yeah, I really like the deepness of the cargo that I put over the top of Noble. The shade Nova is really pretty. And yeah, just something a bit darker, a bit more kind of a bit of a colour to it, but a bit of a subtle way of adding colour. So this is a great look if you're not someone who if you're someone who kind of wants to try and dabble with colour but not a fan of it. Um, this is quite a nice way of injecting colour without being too bold or too in your face. But yeah, so I really hope you enjoy this eye look. Um, and yeah, let me know what future videos you want to see in 2024. Um, I've got quite a few ideas I'm going to share with you soon um, to kind of change things up a little bit. But yeah, any requests, please let me know. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.